I'm here today with Mark Thomas from the Obi team to learn more about the latest development around Obi Mail and Obi Shed. Hi Mark, what can you tell us about the latest development? So yeah, we're here today talking uh, because the Yahoo and Nokia Strategic Alliance has just hit one of its major deliverables. Uh, we've now officially migrated over Obi Mail and Obi Chat users to being powered by Yahoo. Can you give us a bit more detail on the alliance as such? When has this, hap when has this happened and why? Now, this was an alliance between Nokia and Yahoo, and really there are two major parts to it. Uh, they are powering our Obi Mail and Obi Chat experiences, and we are also going to be powering their Maps experience on the Yahoo web page. What is the benefit for the, for the users here? Well, we're here today to talk about Obi Mail and Obi Chat. Um, now that they're powered by Yahoo, there's uh, benefits for both Obi Mail and Obi Chat. Um, let's start with Obi Chat. Really, two main benefits there. Uh, now that Obi Chat's powered by Yahoo, people who are using the Obi Chat um, experience are not only able to communicate with other Obi users, but they're now able to invite friends and have on their buddy lists people who are part of the Yahoo instant messenger community. So it really expands the usefulness uh, and the reach of Obi Chat. And the second thing for the ObiChat users is, uh, in the past, ObiChat's been primarily around using uh, a mobile phone to do instant messaging with other ObiChat users. Uh, now, uh, with this most recent release, uh, we have a web-based interface at mail.obi.com where users can uh, do web-based instant messaging um, with people from, on Nokia devices using ObiChat and also chat with Yahoo the instant messaging people. And how does this work then in practice? All the data what, what consumers have using Obi Mail and Obi Chat, how do you mi migrate this then to the Yahoo platform? Right. So um, the other class of users that will really benefit from this is the Obi Mail user. And there's a new web interface for them, uh, which uh, has just gone live, which means that they'll be able to continue sending uh, Obi Mail and Obi Chat, but with, with a completely new interface. Um, it's beautiful, it's got tabs, different panes, uh, it's got a preview pane. Um, but one of the things about this is that while they'll be able to start using it immediately, it'll take up a few days up to a week to have all their historic messages migrated into this inbox. And I think we can guarantee that no data is lost and that uh, users will get their data back. Absolutely, this is something that we've sent uh, emails to the users ahead of time saying that their mail will be uh, taking a few days in the migration um, so they know about it ahead of time and it's something that uh, they won't be, uh, have interruption in their messaging service. It'll just be a few days for their messages to repopulate. You just mentioned that we already informed uh, users so we can safely say that all users already know that this will happen or will we give it an extra try to inform them over the next days? So, you know, we have uh, tens of millions of OB mail users, and this has been one of the largest uh, outreaches uh, of direct emails to our, our user base, um, informing people that this change is taking place, what to expect. Um, so we think the users are, are well informed now. Thank you, Mark. Okay, thank you.